Fanatics View. We are we are here at the uh, American Airlines Center. Um, I just wanted to get, for the people that don't know, I wanted to get your initial story, how you became the Mavs PA announcer, and just kind of your career journey to that point, and what it's been like since. Okay. Um, gosh, I've told this story before. I'll give you the short version. Please. Um, because uh, one thing that no one has ever said to me is, do you have anything you'd like to add? No one's ever asked me that question, so I'll try and keep this short. Um, I was waiting in the carpool lane to pick up my son one day from school, and I was listening to a sports station here in town, and one of the guys announced that uh, Humble Billy Hayes was leaving, and the Mavericks were going to have open auditions. So I called, got scheduled to have an audition. I ended up coming down here. I think they had like 50 or so audition live on the floor of the AAC or of AAC. It's not the AAC, it's AAC. And um, they narrowed it down to 10, narrowed it down to six, narrowed it down to two. Um, and I got to do a regular preseason game. The first, or I got to do a regular season game. The first actual NBA game I announced 2009, uh, Utah Jazz, we were down 17 in the first quarter, first half, and Dirk scored 29 points in the fourth quarter. That's the first game I ever announced. We won. The second game I announced was against Houston. We were down 16 in the first half. We ended up winning that game, and I thought, huh, this has a chance to be something. Uh, the first full season, the next season, the 2010-2011 season, was my first full season where I did all the games and the Mavs won the championship. That was pretty sweet. That was enjoyable. And then uh, we've just been fighting to get back ever since. So I'm getting ready to start my 13th season sitting at that table at the best seat in the building, even better than Mark's because he's way down on the baseline. See you, Mark. Uh, I do. I have the best seat in the building. And as a fan uh, who just has loved this team from day one, it's, I mean, come on, man. There's no place better. Just curiosity too, I'm sure you've been asked about this before, but the extension on your announcements of players, was Dirk the first one you would do that for? The Dirk? Was yeah, Dirk was, you know, um, I've been talking on microphones since I was 16 years old. So I've been loud and, and amplified most of my life. Most people say the amplification isn't necessary because the only other phrase no one has ever said to me is, could you speak up a little? Um, so with Dirk, it just, it just happened, you know, um, the growl, I'm a tenor, so I have a really high voice, especially when I get excited, which is always at a Mavs game. And the growl is just something that happened organically just to try and protect people's eardrums. I have a really loud, very clear voice and the growl just sort of happened. It just felt right. And and now I'll play around during a season, during a player's first couple of games, if they're new to the team, and just kind of see what feels right. And then everything else just, just happens. Some things stick and some things don't.